Okay, here is the wheel in question. Um, here is the little divot where this piece of metal was bent to go into here. Um, I have bent it actually probably too far and it's actually out. Okay, that's about as close as I can get in there. And you, as you see, there's little slivers of metal in there that may in fact be uh, impeding the turn. I don't know how to get into there exactly. Um, sorry about the bouncy. I, my tripod doesn't go down this low. So, uh, anyway, socket fit around here, T bar on it, and then you put a three foot uh, aluminum bar on it and you bend the T bar. Um, this thing, I believe, is just a right hand. It rotates that way to loosen. I've soaked it down with, uh, with, uh, uh, penetrating oil a couple of times. Um, I have tried turning it the other way just in case I'm wrong and it and it's a left hand thread. Um, I don't have a blade that's thin enough to get in there and again and in, in here and get these little shaving things out. Anyway there is the closest shot I can get. This is the side where the metal was pushed in and then you can see some various shavings in there that I really hope are are the problem because I can't see anything else that might be a problem. So uh, after cleaning it out a little bit uh, there is the result. I still bend actually I didn't bend the t-bar this time when I uh, use the socket I actually split the socket. So it's an inch and a quarter socket I should probably be using a 31 millimeter socket but I don't have one and uh, that's why you see the scuffs on the edge here on the corners Oops, sorry. in the corners here that's because the socket's just a teeny bit too big